snail that's a mushroom that's a flower that's a called a yin and yang sign black is the bad part of life the white is the good part of life and you have two sides of life there's always good and bad in life and then there's what's the bad one? uh for example one minute you could be running and playing and jumping on trampoline and having so much fun and then a minute later you could be falling off the trampoline and hitting your head. So you had good, and then you had bad. That's what this symbol means right here. Oh. And then the, you need a little bit of good in the bad, and you have a little bit of bad in the good. You know, it's impossible to have every single day be good, 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 good. good. There's always gonna be a bad. And then, look, look at how, look at this over here. The earth is on fire! <laughs> My boys are playing and I'm planning on taking them to the library today and then we're going to go to Costco and um, and I'm not sure what else. Oh, and then we're definitely going to play the rest of the day at it. But I'm, I want to clean too. As you can see, it's a bit messy, but I'm just so excited to vlog my days with you guys. I've been wanting to be a vlogger for 12 years. One of my first videos is from 12 years ago, and it's on uh, my other channel called Leah Estrich. And if you want to see that, you can, but the videos there are just whatever I wanted to upload like 12 years ago, nine years ago. Um, but I don't know why, but I've always been obsessed with video. As soon as the uh, video cameras came out, I was like, oh my gosh, unlimited possibilities for my life and for documenting it. And can you imagine when my kids are 10 years old, we can watch this back. Like, I wish I had that. Like, they're playing in the playroom. I wish that I could watch myself from three years old play when I was three. Like. I think everyone would benefit from that because you can actually see how you were at three years old. Lawnmowers. Hey, mommy. What's this one's name? Oh. Uh, oh, Lala. She's so cute. She has fox ears. <laughs> and then, Sorry, guys, what? Heidi just hided. Oh, Heidi's a hider. That's what she does. <laughs> so, um, definitely comment down below if you love my vlogs because it really gives me motivation to keep posting. Although I'm gonna post every day whether anyone says anything or not because I wanna keep it for myself. But I think it would be nice to get to know you guys and my channel's gonna blow up, I know it is. So don't you wanna be my friend before that happens? <laughs> Cause um, I've got a lot to share. And when the kids, and I was thinking of doing an Oreo taste test with the kids today. Do you want to do an Oreo taste test? No. Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> no Oreo taste test then. <laughs> um. They just want to play. You just want to play? Yeah. Ooh. Ew. Mm. No more messes for mommy. <laughs> 
You're strong. Yeah, I am. Oh boy, it's a tunnel. Whoa. <laughs> nice. Oh, are you doing it too, Kai? Whoa. Trampoline time. Okay. I got it here all by myself, actually. You need help, Kai? No, I need help to do it. Oh, nice. Let's see. Oh, you got it next to the thing. It's perfect. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's it's not all the way. There's like a little crack. So you come over here and you kick it. Boosh, boosh. Is that better? So we're just having a fun time. I'm posting on Instagram. If you're not following on my Instagram, I have some TikToks. I love making TikToks, but I don't really have any ideas <laughs> when I'm with the kids. I have a great idea. Mm -hmm. Turn this into a whole bed. Yeah. But you can't jump on the whole bed. Yeah, okay. It's super not a jumpable bed. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Just There's the bed. Oh, the boys oh got God. it out. Again. Oh my goodness. How do you like it? How do your your toys? Are we calling them your friends or your toys or your plushies? What do you want to call them? Snuggles. Oh, your snuggles. Mommy, guess what? What? Little Heidi got hot. <gasps> uh oh. Where? Why can I jump on the right bed? Right here on mm her -hmm. nose. Mommy, you get no jumping. I said it's not a very good jumping bed. Like, watch, jump on it. Is it fun? Whee! Oh, it does work. I thought it wasn't very jumpy, like jumping friendly. See, I don't know how it will work when two are jumping. How does it feel now when two jump on it? Awesome! Yeah! Whee! Okay. You just, you just have to trust yourself when you feel like something's dangerous. Go on to the coffee oh. table and then come well, to the TV. Well, I don't want you to jump on the coffee table. <laughs> hey, Kai, you keep jumping on the bed, and I'll be under here. I gotta do some cleaning, guys. Jump, then jump, then. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta take out the trash. <clears throat> Look at you go. Oh, I put it in the washing machine. A dirty yucky towel. That's from when you guys wiped your face one time. It must have fell down into the behind the couch. Hi. So let's see. A brushka. <laughs> you guys are in your seat. Good job. I forgot. You don't need to get buckled. Just yet. <clears throat> I hear the dump truck guy coming. Let's see how they look. Oh, Asher looks a little angry. No! No! And Kai looks happy. <laughs> no! Okay, here's Kai. Here's Kai, everybody. Kai is on the floor saying he's falling and he's already on the floor. Asher's doing... I don't even know what Asher's doing. But it's getting wild, guys. Kai's blue worm broke and he's really sad about it. But if he ever, but he's told me 10 times he's sad about his blue worm breaking. And if he says it one more time, he gets the tickle torture. 
Ding. Ding. Ah. Oh. I go fly, go grab him. Okay, here we go. Hey guys. Oh boy. Now I can blind me into a blinded blind. But now he's gonna hold. What's happening here, guys? He goes blind. I'm blind, but he's shoes on. But he keeps stepping on my dingo. While the kids are playing, I had this thought that how many of us, when we are upset about something that we really like or really love, and it disappears, <laughs> like especially humans. <laughs> so I feel like what he's dealing with with this worm, like he's re was really sad about this worm breaking, and I'm like, yeah, mommy, mommy has a clue as to how that must feel. <laughs> like, I've experienced something similar where you love something so much and it goes away from your life. I know the feeling. <laughs> so I was realizing like, damn, it starts early where we fall in love with something and are attached to it really early on. And um, I think the trick is to talk with your mind, you know, like, hey, it's okay. I love that thing and it's gone. And I'll see it, you know, I send it on its way. Like, detach from it. You have no more attachment to it. And realize that something better is on its way. Because seriously, every time I've had anything bad happen to me, something better replaced it. So, if you're going through anything hard right now, just know that whatever you lost is not really lost. It's just something else is going to replace it that's much better. So no one lost anything <laughs> and we suffer when we believe we lost something. We'll never see it again. Or, um, uh, we get less of what we expected. Those are when you have suffering and that's when you feel like you're going to die. <laughs> that's all a story that you told yourself in your head. So make sure that's always up. We're at Chipotle with Asher and Kai. Is it yummy? And I got a veggie bowl. Nice mix. <laughs> it's not spicy guac. Good. Hi. So. My eye, my right eye, it's really itchy. I'm like tapping to it. Oh, but I went to Costco with the boys. We're back from Costco. And feeling really tired today. I don't know why. But I got tomatoes, mangoes, apples, more mangoes, more mangoes, bananas I have to put in the fridge. This one, this one. This one, this one, <laughs> and pistachios. <sighs> um, the boys are playing on the ground. I just made banana ice cream and freezing my ass off. It's six o'clock. I'm so tired of cold weather because normally I love a banana ice cream, but I've been avoiding all blender things for the last few months because. It will it turned into a popsicle and I can't deal with cold stuff. Like I have to wrap my whole body up in warm blankets and even then I'm still not warm. But this is what we've been doing since we got back. They've been playing and I still have to put my comforter together right there. <laughs> I'm being a little bit lazy, but <coughs> just 
just waiting for it to get warmer. So, yeah, we had a major meltdown earlier today. I was supposed to go to my friend's house and they said no to going. And then I called her and said I couldn't go because she wanted me to pick up a package and that way I wouldn't like get stolen. And then I told them that we could go to an ice cream shop, but then they didn't want to go and then I called her and canceled and then all of a sudden they wanted to go and I canceled after I canceled and then I said, well now I can't go and then they freaked out because of that. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, my, my god. <laughs> it really felt like I was being punished <laughs> for, for something I did in a past life. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 